Once you have a 2D sketch completed, the pull tool can be used to develop it into a 3D model. If you are in plan view after sketching, it's a good idea to switch to home view before pulling, as this will allow you to see what's happening as the 3D shape emerges. When you select the pull tool and hover over the sketch, you'll see the surface becomes yellow and some yellow arrows appear. The small solid yellow arrow in the centre of the surface shows that the sketch face is ready to be pulled. The larger double arrows which follow your cursor indicate that you can click and drag now to pull the shape up or down. Notice that the arrows are pointing vertically in the direction you will pull. As long as the large yellow arrows are visible, you can pull the shape from wherever your cursor is. When you pull the solid, you can drag it to a dimension or type in a value before releasing the drag. Note that when you release the drag, the dimension will disappear, but it is still an option to type a dimension if you want to modify the extent of the pull. The new dimension will be added to the original pull. Once you have a 3D solid, there are many other ways the pull tool can be used to modify the model. Let's go through some of the most useful ones now. Using Control Select, you can select multiple features and pull them at the same time. When you click on a feature to pull, you will see the mini toolbar appear. Two especially useful options in this toolbar are Ruler and Up To. Selecting the Ruler option will allow you to set a dimension for the pull operation. Using the Up To option will mean you can pull up to an existing feature in the model. If you need to cancel pulling at any time during the operation, just press Escape. It's worth noting what happens if you pull opposing faces. See how they automatically move closer and further apart as you pull. If you select related faces, such as perpendicular ones, the geometric feature will grow and shrink as you pull. Keep an eye on the yellow arrows to see which way to drag your cursor. Angled faces can be pulled too. If just the face is selected, the extent of the face will change as the pull takes place. If you select the face and its boundary edges, this will constrain the size of the face during the pull. Holes can be pulled in a number of ways to modify them. Selecting the inner face or bore of the hole will adjust the diameter when pulling. Selecting on the axis, however, will allow you to change the hole into a slot. In each case, you can either drag to a new size or type in dimensions. Selecting the open edge of a hole will allow the edge to be modified into chamfers or rounds. The mini toolbar in this case will offer options relating to the type of modification. After pulling, the same options will still be offered in the mini toolbar and in the options panel to the left of the design screen, so you can change your selection retrospectively. If you need to equalise diameters between two holes, you can pull one to the same size as the other using the Up To option from the mini toolbar. At any stage, you can choose to add a new sketch to introduce new geometry into the model. If you return to one of the sketch tools and hover over the model, it will guide you as to where the sketch grid might be placed depending on the position of your cursor. Once you place the grid, you can select a new shape and pull it into or out from the existing solid. In a similar way, you can select an edge and use the Extrude Edge option from the mini toolbar 
to extrude a 2D face before then pulling it into 3D. Adding a full round to a face can be done in two ways. One way is to select the two edges of the face, pull them into a full round, but then pull backwards past the zero point. This will apply the round. Another way is to select the three faces of the edge. Right click and choose the full round option. To round the edges of a surface, remember that double clicking will select the whole edge loop. If there is more than one edge loop, double click again until you get the one you want. Deselect any edges you want to exclude using Control Select. The round can then be applied by dragging or by typing in the required dimension. The other main tool for modifying 3D models is the Move tool. It is worth comparing and contrasting the way the two tools work relative to each other, so maybe have a look at the Move tutorial next.